What's up guys, hanging out in the fish room as per usual. Uh, I just got done resealing this tank, or I should say I haven't laid the silicone yet, but it's at its final stage. And I'm super excited to get two 125s on top of each other. Uh, it's been a lot of work coming. Uh, for those of you that have stacked 125s, it's a defeat uh, in its own because they weigh so much. Uh, the beam here is actually a steel beam. Uh, some people run two by fours. I'm not into that. Uh, I overly build everything I do. So, but anyhow, uh, today's topic. It turns out I have a huge following that are into red blood parrots or just blood parrots in general because uh, I joined one of the biggest Facebook groups, uh, Blood Parrot Cichlid Keepers, I think it is. Anyhow, uh, I started publishing, doing some posts, and everyone's like, yeah, man, we watch your channel, blah, 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 etc." It was an awesome uh, feeling because, you know, I don't even have that many videos on blood parrots. So I, I've decided to kind of do some more videos on blood parrots. And I know some of you guys, some of you hybrid guys, or, uh, you know, the blood parrot is sometimes called, like, a, a newbie fish because a lot of, like beginners keep blood parrots or else I've heard a lot of uh, females loving blood parrots. Uh, funny enough, my wife, uh, her favorite fish in my, f of all the fish in my fish room is the blood parrots. And I think it's completely true. Females love blood parrots. And uh, I'm, I'm not gonna, there shouldn't be anything said about that. Uh, it's, it doesn't matter. Blood parrots are cool fish. Uh, they have more personality than maybe any fish in the industry. And uh, I just figured I'd show some cool videos of some some people that's us. Uh, some videos that people have sent me of blood parrots and just kind of talk about taking care of them. Some cool things about them and uh, like tank mates, tank size, etc. Because I have a lot of cool footage from people. Uh, I, like I said, I joined the Facebook group and there uh, a lot of people were sending me some videos. We were talking, chatting. It was an awesome experience. And if you're looking for a group to join, join up. So I'll throw a link in the description box. Oh, and all, all products and whatnot and foods I talk about, there will be links in the description box. And if you're wondering if I have a blood parrot, yes, I do have a blood parrot. He is right here. Uh, I've had this blood parrot since like day one of like Chris becoming totally insane with keeping fish and my wife actually bought me uh, Two blood parrots as a gift right when I was getting into the hobby and uh, Super sturdy fish. I lost one of them because I was a fool and tried to breed it with the red Texas uh, she was a female and she had laid eggs for me multiple times, uh, but the Red Texas got a little too aggressive and I, I, I got her out really early. Uh, I'm babbling. Let's, let's, um, let's flip the cam, or not flip the cam, start showing you some of these cool videos and just let's, let's start chatting about blood parrots. All right, so here's some awesome looking blood parrots. This is a community tank, obviously, with a bunch of blood parrots. Um, I'm going to start this from the very beginning. Uh, as far as taking care of blood parrots. So let's start with getting your aquarium. As far as what size to get, I wouldn't go with anything below a 55 gallon aquarium because these guys do get fairly large. Some of them are super slow growing and you will have years to kind of like upgrade if you want to. So maybe you could start with a 30 and move your way up. But I would just advise starting with a bigger tank because they're gonna flourish more in a bigger tank and even when they grow larger i'd maybe think about getting into a 90 gallon or a 120 gallon but i understand not everyone has room for that big of tanks so uh what else um these are as far as feeding these guys you're gonna just want a protein rich cichlid pellet as far as their staple diet um i always like to feed treats like twice a week like worms insects um cut up tilapia anything they can fit in their mouths basically and whatever they would get in natural habitat you can pretty much feed them inside of an aquarium so it's really that simple uh, i also advise to kind of get a, a couple different brands of foods 
Um, I always tell people Omega-1 brands are one of my favorite. Um, and there's also some freeze-dried brine shrimp that I love. You can get both of these on Amazon, ship to your door really easily. I'll throw some links in the description box if you're interested. So we covered tank size, food, um, tank mates is another one you're also going to ask about because you want to keep other fish with these fish, obviously. And chances are you're looking at these fish to have in a community tank. And this is a perfect fish for a community tank. But you, you also have to know that these fish have a wide variety spectrum of personalities. You know, one of them could be super insane and doesn't get along with anything, whereas I've had others that get along with pretty much everything on the planet as far as fish. So, um, tank mates, uh, anything South American or just generic uh, community fish, like mild-mannered, like what are some good examples? Um, green tares, tetras, um, I've kept them with jewel cichlids, mitis cichlids, firemouth cichlids, uh, you name it pretty much. For the most part, these fish are really nice and timid. For the most part, guys, these fish are extremely easy to keep and I consider them one of my favorite fish in the hobby because you can have them with a wide spectrum of different types of fish. Like I can keep them with super nice fish like guppies and platies and mollies, or I can keep them with a, a tougher fish like a Texas cichlid and they will still hold their own. That's what makes them awesome. So we talked about tank size, um, food and tank mates. How about um, just your generic water and setup? I would say, um, you can have whatever kind of substrate you want and what that is is the tank liner what goes in the bottom of your aquarium you can use gravel or sand whichever uh, as far as using a filter I would go with a small canister or a hang on the back the AquaClear 110 is probably the best filter on the market right now or the Tidal 110 is uh, moving up in comparison I'll throw links to both of those in the description box if you're wondering um, what else is there? Oh, and you're also gonna need a heater because these are tropical fish. Most of all the fish I talk about are tropical and you're gonna need a heater, figure out about three to five watts per one gallon of water um, when buying a heater. And, you, it, and it's safer to use multiple heaters uh, in one aquarium essentially. And I also advise uh, using a controller I know this is a lot, guys, but uh, it's pure basics. Buy a, buy a decent sized tank, get a decent filter, uh, make sure you got the right tank mates, get a decent quality food. Uh, I would also advise getting a water changer where you can clean. Um, it, it's an awesome device that you hook up to a water faucet and it will suck water out of your tank and then you hit a switch and it'll push water back in. And you can also do a gravel vac while doing it. So I know this is a lot, guys. These are awesome fish. Highly advise them. Hit up the comments if you have any more questions. I know I went through a lot, but I find that um, it really helps to just kind of touch base with everything when it comes to taking care of these fish. I do, I do find that a lot of people get into this industry to keep blood parrots because they see these awesome fish. God, this light's kind of annoying, isn't it? Blip. Sorry. But yeah, a lot of people, they get these fish as their first fish, I've found out, because I've been getting a lot of messages regarding that, and uh, that's awesome, and I just wanna make sure I touch base with all of that stuff. So, red blood parrot cichlids, awesome community fish. Uh, it's my wife's favorite fish, so I can't, I can't argue with that. Um, yeah, I guess hit up the comment section. This is my Q&A channel. I answer your questions. 